Hey YouTubers, okay so today I am finishing up the first half of my graphene project. I got uh, stuff on the stir right now I'm going to shut off. This is a hydrogen peroxide solution. I set it up to um, dump the fine stuff in the upper layer of this uh, graphite that we were um, separating on one of the previous videos. Figured I'd follow this through on the steps on most of this. I didn't do the um, sulfuric acid in the first half of the first intercalation process. Figured most of you guys already know how to do that. If you don't, uh, you can find videos on Ace, Ace site. He's got uh, videos on how to do the first um, reintercalation and washing process. Basically what I did was I just did that entire process a second time after I did the first process. Um, and I ran it through the microwave. This uh, has already been uh, re it's been intercalated, um, washed, filtered, dried, ran through the microwave, ran through the blender, re intercalated, washed, dried, ran through the microwave a second time. Now, this is all the stuff that was collecting at the top layer of that solution and uh, this is the last half of that. I split it down into two because I didn't want to I just didn't want to make a very large solution. It's easier to filter off. It only takes me about 30 seconds to do that. And then once I get done doing that I dry it in my oven here and you get this little product here. It's pretty fine, pretty dry. So I wanted to show you guys that. So what I just did is I stuck a filter pad inside the, my vacuum filter set up here. Uh, and basically I, I'm going to pull out my magnetic stir rod here so I don't uh, have to compete with that later. Alright. I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be noisy. And uh, this is deionized water. So I'm going to use to rinse out the bottom of the bottle with. All right, here we go. Uh, there's about 300 milliliters of uh, solution in there. That's plenty. Now, this is a 500 millimeter flask. I can. It's enough room for me to actually uh, filter the solution, rinse this out, and then rinse off the side so that all the fluid is out of it and everything's compacted. As you can see, hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen peroxide foams like crazy. Get the rest of this. Kind of hard to see what I'm doing. All right, that's the filter process right there. And there you go. Filtered graphene. Now this is probably not pure graphene. But it's really, really, really close. This certainly don't look like it. But let me tell you what. It does really, really, really good. And I'll show you guys a little sample here in a minute. Just going to transfer that into here and then start cooking it. It's very, uh, been very happy with uh, some of the 
um, views I've been getting here just recently. Uh, thank you, uh, friends and family, for uh, checking out my site. Um, if you would, uh, please share my videos. Um, sh like them, thumbs up them, make some comments. That way I have something to talk about and reply to. Hey, even make some suggestions. You know, I, I'm not afraid to take a little bit of criticism. After all, you know, any of you know me, <laughs> no, I kind of thrive off of it. A little bit of conflict, a little bit of criticism, all, all works out good. I would definitely like, uh, like to do more, um, but, you know, I can't really, you know, I work 40 hours a week, you know, on top, top of kids, it's kind of hard to spend every day, every waking moment in, the, in my little lab here. You know, and the more views I get, the more interest I get in my channel, the better. Hopefully someday I'll be making enough money off of views or off the product I make that uh, I won't have to spend so much time at work. All that plays into a factor when, uh, when I ask for views and thumbs ups and likes and shares and things like that. I'm not just doing it to... begging for anything so now I'm just transferring all that stuff I just got done siphoning off and then I gotta break it up a little bit because it dries faster when it's broke up it doesn't hold on to the moisture as bad So, what I'm going to do with this stuff uh, in later videos is I'm going to be making electrodes. At some point I'll be doing uh, solar cells with them, um, uh, high density capacitors, batteries, um, all sorts of really cool things. If you guys stay tuned uh, on my videos, I will go into detail on how a lot of this happens. In fact. Probably after I get done doing this part of the video, I am probably going to do a short video on exactly what I'm talking about when I'm talking about reincarnation. Now, uh, as I, I, I'm always going to be referring to these guys, Robert Murray Smith and uh, and uh, A, and there's a few others. I'm going to have to go through the videos again and figure out their names. Some of them I just just learned of. I didn't even see them until just recently. That are actually doing along along the same kind of lines as what they are doing uh, going a lot more detailed steps on certain processes that they work on now I'm just going to cook that I put it at about 300 degrees Fahrenheit I'll leave it in there for about an hour and that'll dry out the product now I'll give you a little demonstration on exactly what I'm talking about by conductivity Take just a little bit, sit right here. And I'm just going to roll it flat, put a little bit of pressure, roll it flat real good. 
least get it started that way. This just connects all the layers together. And then I got a hammer here to apply a little more pressure to it. It's a flat end hammer so I don't have no bumps or whatever on it. probably easier if I got two plates and smashed together that way but I'd have to build that and quite frankly I don't know, that, that takes a lot more effort it takes my time away from what I would like to be doing which is this stuff all right let's turn this over to the ohm reading turn the light on I got about 90 ohms. Now I can do better than that with this stuff. I've had it down to 1 ohm. But I'm just kind of rushed it a little bit just so I can give you guys a demonstration on the conductivity that I can get out of this stuff. Um, that actually isn't that great. I can almost buy just a piece of graph oil. And get that but that I can get lower so that was just a quick dem demonstration on that what I'm doing is working I didn't uh, do everything I could to that so anyways that's that step and I will show you more steps down the road as to how to mix that into um, a plastic ink um, and I'm actually going to try to do a chlorophyll, a chlorophyll heat battery. Um, that, that's actually a very interesting thing. I might even do another uh, demonstration on the uh, board on that later. Thank you.